Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding monthly transactions part 1 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Wayfair and Wish interviews over the past couple of years. Ok, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called transactions with 5 different columns, ID, country, straight, amount and transaction date. ID is the primary key of this table. The table has information about incoming transactions. The state column, the state column is an enum of type approved or declined. We are asked to write a SQL query to find for each month and country the number of transactions and their total amount, the number of approved transactions and their total amount. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so if we go through this example, right? So for each month and country, what is the total number of transactions and the, and their and that amount and then what is the total number of approved transactions and that amount right so for example if you look at december 2018 right so for every month and country so december 2018 there were two transactions right for december 2018 and us there are two transactions right these uh, 121 and 122 right so the total number of transactions are 2 and what is the total amount 1000 plus 2000 that is 3000 out of this what were the approved number of transactions so 1 right and what is the uh, transaction amount 1000 similarly for January 2019 there are two transactions but uh, the country is different right so for January 2019 and US there is one transaction and the amount is 2000 and that is approved so one approved transaction as well and the amount is 2000 right for january 2019 de right how many total transactions one total amount 2000 approved one total amount 2000 and that is going to be the output right so this is the output that we are getting so the first thing that we need to do is from this table we should you know group by the month of so year month of this transaction date and the country right because for every month and country we need to find the data that we are asked right so from this table called transactions right we are grouping by right the trans date part but it should be you know uh, ex extracted in a certain format so to do that what we do is we use a function called date format so date format which columns format you want to you know extract so trans date so this column and what is the format that we want is we want so percentage y so basically year then we want so if you look at the output right so year then there is a dash and then there is the month so year dash and then there is the month right so we group by this right and then the country part as well so we write comma country right then we return so return this same thing right we return it and the output should be uh, aliased as month right so we write as month then the second column is country right so country is returned as it is so country the third column is transactions count so total number of transactions right so once we grouped by the you know month and then the country so if we count since id is the primary key of this table so if we count id it will give all the like the count of all the transactions in that particular month and country right so if i do count of id right and alias this as trans count right so this will give me the third column then i need to do approved count so how much how many of them have approved right so since we know that the state can be approved as well as declined right so for example uh, december of 2018 uh, so since we grouped by december of 2018 so we have these two now for total we just counted the ids right so two different ids and so in total there are two transactions but now we need to calculate how much many of them were approved 
right so since there are two cases we use the case when statement so what we can do is we can say that when the state is approved you you know return one if you don't uh, if it is not approved you return zero and then you sum that right so uh, if you see in this case so if i write case when state is equal to approved then one else zero right so for this line for this group right so for first two rows this is one group since same uh, month and country so for this it will return one and for this it will return zero and if you sum that so one so in total how many cases that are approved one right so if i write case when state is equal to approved right then you return one else you return zero and since you started a case when statement you end this and once you return all that then what you do is you sum that thing right so you sum that so for this group one plus zero is one right and you alias this as approved count right so you uh, so you understand like how we are coming up with this approved count thing this will we will be using for approved total amount as well right now once we have this fourth column then with the transaction total amount so for total once we have this group right so we grouped by month and country we can just do the sum of amount right because it both of them are in the group so we don't need to do anything fancy what we do is sum of amount and then alias this as this thing right trans total amount so copy and paste but for the sixth part approved total amount now in this case we only need to keep the amount when the state is approved and if it is not approved we don't need so basically uh, we can say that case when state is approved return the amount but when it is not approved return the amount as zero right so if you add zero to something the value is going to be the initial number right so again case when state is equal to approved right then you return the amount part else you return zero end the case statement and once you do all this then you just sum that right so for this group again so for this it will return 1000 for this it will return zero and it will uh, sum thousand plus zero is equal to thousand so and that thousand is the amount of approved transactions right so and alias this as approved total amount right since we don't need to order by anything so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again quite tricky question but what we need to do was you know we need to understand like how we can come up with uh, you know um, functions that can help us do a uh, number of you know approved transactions and their total amount and i hope this uh, logic was making sense to you uh, that like if there is a certain case is being you know true then you are returning something uh, otherwise you are returning something else and then calculating the sum so how so you understand right how the sum function is being used to count something right so this is how we do it uh, let me know if there is any other way or better way you can think of or more efficient way comment down below and until then i will see you guys in the next video